<laughs> Hi, divers. Alec Pierce, Alec Pierce, scuba uh, tech tips here. I'm back again with a uh, tech tip, tech, uh, with a tech tip. Uh, just a suggestion, just an idea. Maybe this will make your diving a bit easier. And, you know, sometimes I have to make a suggestion to a diver that sounds a little bit radical. You know, he either doesn't think about it, or if he does think about it, he, he, he doesn't, know, doesn't know a solution to a problem. Or if he does know the solution, he says, cheaper, should I do that? Maybe there's a scuba rule against it. First of all, there are no scuba rules. There are some really, really good ideas that you ought to follow, but there are no laws. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, th this has to do with Velcro. And this is a problem I've run into many, many times over. Now, Velcro is fantastic. Velcro is just the best thing since buttons. And they've been around for a couple of days, right? Uh, and I wish I'd invented the darn stuff. <clears throat> what did it used to be called? It used to be called hook and loop. Hook and loop fasteners when it first came out. Uh, Velcro doesn't mean anything. Hook and loop does. But anyway, Velcro is a good name. So anyway, and the point is that Velcro is on everything now. It's all over your BC pockets. It's everywhere. You know, you're on a dive boat uh, and all you hear besides the hissing of the air is whip, whip, Velcro opening and closing all the time. However, sometimes they get carried away. Sometimes manufacturers just go overboard, pardon the pun, when they start playing with the Velcro. They figure they get to sell a pair of gloves, here's a pair of gloves, and a pair of gloves are $35. So they put some Velcro on, and now they can sell them for $39, because that Velcro is worth at least $4, you know, it costs 75 cents. But anyway, so they keep, and my point is to keep adding Velcro to hit this, all kinds of stuff. And it can be a real nuisance. You, know, you already know, I think I mentioned when we talked about wetsuits, that the Velcro on the shoulders of your Farmer John, if you're still wearing one of the older two-piece suits, that Velcro sticks to everything. It can actually ruin wetsuits. I've seen it happen. But I want to concentrate on one area where Velcro is used a great deal and where I think it, it shouldn't be. And here's a suggestion what you can do about it. This, these are gloves. These are dive gloves. And you can see on these dive gloves, they've done that. They've gone and put this 25 cent piece of Velcro on here with a little plastic loop on there, you see. And, and so now they can charge an extra five dollars because these now have a Velcro strap. Ah, yeah, on the wrist. Now they market this as being a great idea because it makes your gloves secure well, if they fit properly, and you're wearing these over a wetsuit, just over the top of the wetsuit, that's not going to come off. So the security thing, forget it. And they also say, well, it keeps the water out. This is a wetsuit. <laughs> water is supposed to be in there. I don't know, not gallons of it. But my point is that the way they try to sell the Velcro as being a benefit, mm, any, anyway, not so much. A pretty tough sell for me, anyway. So let's put this glove on. So here's what you're supposed to do. You put the glove on, and that's a pretty good fit, and it goes up over the top of your wetsuit. Your wetsuit's underneath it, or you can do it either way. If you, if, you, if, you're, if you want to put the wetsuit over the top of the glove, you can do that too. There's no rule for that. Whatever works for you is what you do. So now what you do is you take this Velcro strap, and you pull it around here like that, and you put it on nice and tightly. Whoa, that's on there nice and solidly. In fact, it's on so solidly that you can't get it off. Suppose you have to take it off. Yes, I have taken my glove off underwater even when the water is very, very cold. Because sometimes you can't do things with these thick gloves that you want to do, that you need to do. So sometimes, I've actually done it, you're not getting this glove off, trust me. You're not getting this glove off for two reasons. First of all, the Velcro strap is too tight. Secondly, you can't get the Velcro strap loosened. Let me demonstrate. I'm not sure if I can do this. These gloves are really thick. But let's put this, this is a different Velcro glove. Velcro strap glove. So I'll put this one on this hand, okay? And normally you wear two gloves. So this is this is not this is not anything unusual. So this one's a little bit different, you see. I don't know if you can see that, but the strap comes around, has a little flap there, you see, and you take this piece of velcro and you put that piece of velcro inside there. You see that? And then you close that over top of it like a little sandwich. It ain't coming off. That's for sure. So now you've got these two thick gloves on. Okay, I have to take one off. Now this could be underwater, which is not likely, but even at the surface, it's a darn nuisance. You can, I've seen divers doing this. Finally to get it off. And, and it's something that has no value anyway. My personal opinion, cut the darn things off. Take a really good pair of scissors, or very carefully with a, with a box cutter, and just right where it's stitched to the glove, take it off. If you have experienced the same thing, like a Velcro in my mouth. If you've experienced the same problem, that is these Velcro straps are just a darn nuisance, let's cut them off. I don't think they're a great value. You think it over yourself. <laughs> right. And even this one, even with fingers, it's hard because they put Velcro right to the end, so the Velcro sticks right down. If they left a little three quarters or one inch piece with no Velcro so it stuck up, that you grab that with your fat gloves and peel it off, wouldn't be so bad, but they don't. Get rid of it. Get rid of the Velcro. Cut that Velcro off. 
Just an idea. Anyway, the point is, you don't need them, and they can be a real nuisance. You can't undo it, because the Velcro holds it down tightly. You can't get the gloves off. You might want to. I don't know if that's of any benefit. I don't even know if it's a problem for anybody else. Maybe I'm the only one that's ever had that problem. I doubt it. Anyway, there's an idea. There's a tech tip for you. Talk to you again soon. Alec Pierce, Scuba Tech Tips.